Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I was going to do my travel size collection. I I had a request to do some of my travel sprays and I had recorded it. I just didn't like how it came out. So I figured I would redo it and post it. So I have quite a few um, fragrances here. And if you guys like these kind of videos or you've been liking my videos, give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and just comment down below or any suggestions on videos that you would like to see. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. I have a giant box. You probably see on my thumbnail, but I have a giant box. It's just like an old like um, a gift box that I keep a lot of my travel size and um, I'm going to show you like like my travel size, the ones that are actually travel size. I'm, I have also like a giant bag of samples that I usually get for like if I order something online I will just get the sample because I like to just try new things but I won't go through all these because there's just there's just no reason for it but if I want to go dig through here and you know just try something new I have that so a lot of the uh, fragrances I have I have some from scent uh, box like the pers uh, I keep saying prescription subscription uh, service that I don't do sir I don't do those anymore I just I originally did them because I wanted to try to stop buying full bottles of perfumes but I think that it did not prevent me from buying full bottles I, I love just the presentation of perfumes I love the bottles I love just having an actual bottle sometimes I'll buy a sample but um, I should just uh, stop buying perfumes because I just have too many but you know we're not here for that we're here to see the the travel size sprays. So I have, I'll just kind of, I didn't write down any of the notes on these. I feel like it's just would take too long. I'll kind of just describe them as I smell them. And if you want, if you have questions about any of them, just leave them down below and I'll, I'll get back to you on that. But most of these you can find online. You just type in the scent and then you go to fragrantica.com and it'll, it'll have a breakdown of all the notes. So I got a set of uh, Narciso Rodriguez fragrances, and this is, I have another one in here somewhere. Hopefully the noise of the box or the perfumes aren't too noisy. I don't know where the other one is, but it's the same one. They're um, no, just the Narciso one. So this is the Narciso Rodriguez, and this is Narciso, and this is Narciso Pudre. So I have these two. It came with another one of just Narciso, so I have three. So it came with Poudre, Narciso, and then another one of this one. So they both, to me, they both smell very similar. The Narciso is, it has like a very, it has a, the typical Narciso Rodriguez musk. It has a musk in there. I really like this one. It has a little bit of woodiness to it. Um, the only difference between the Poudre one, this one has more like a powdery note. I think it's probably a floral of some sort. So it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit more floral and it has a powder note. I like them both equally. Like I put them on yesterday just to see like which one I liked better and it was hard because I enjoyed them both. I think if I'm in the mood for a powdery, more powdery scent, I like the Poudre. If I just want a, this one leaves like a nice, you keep getting wafts of the scent. So I like this one too. I have to move quicker because I have a lot. I have the uh, Commodity travel size. I have the, I should have taken these out before I started the video, but, you know, no one's got time. So I have the Commodity Scents. I have Gin, which is more of their, ma this is more masculine. This smells like cologne. It has lime, I think it has lime, bergamot, juniper berry, lime, and ginger leaf. And this one is much more cologne out of all of them. This one definitely smells like cologne. I have Tonka, which I really enjoy. I actually have a full bottle of this one. I found the travel size first, and I had to have a full bottle of it. I just really like this one. This one is just very cozy, comforting, and warm. Um, it's a good one. I found those at T all these at TJ Maxx probably for, I think, $10 or under. And the other two I have are uh, Mimosa which is, I don't have a full bottle of this one, I only have the travel size. This one smells like orange. Orange, it must be orange blossom. I think they have the notes on the box, actually. 
It says sheer jasmine, blood orange, and mandarin. This one is very citrusy, very orange. Um, it's a nice one. I don't feel like I need a full bottle of this one though. And then I have tea, which was, this one is a little bit more spicy, a little drier, and I feel like this is more of a unisex scent. It has tea, a tea note in it. It's not sweet. It's a very dry, little spicy, woody scent. And it's good. This I feel like that can be uh, quite unisex as well. Then I have the replica by the fireplace. This one is the Mason Margello. I don't have a full bottle of that one. I only bought the travel size. This one smells good. This one smells just like Marshmallow Fireside Candle by Bath and Body Works, if you like that one. I think it says it smells like burning wood and chestnut. And yeah, and it has like a like a sweetness to it, a marshmallow or some sort of sweetness to it. I really like this one. This one smells very nice for, I don't know, the fall and winter, but you can wear it anytime. It just smells very good. You'll probably hear my kids in the background again. They're playing in the other room. So if they're being noisy, they're just playing. So I will go through my scent box ones. These are all scent box. So I think they have like, I think one, you, there's like a premium subscription and then there's a regular. So depending on like the type of fragrances you want, the more high end fragrances are a little bit, I think it's like $19.99 a month and you get one a month and you can add on if you want extra, if you want like another scent. And usually they come in a vial like this. They come up in a twist top and they come up like that. So and you get, you get a good amount in there. I mean, this will give you enough idea if you're going to want the fragrance or not. I mean, those, I mean that'll last you a while especially if you have a lot of fragrances. This one is Tom Ford uh, Noir Pour Femme. I, I will try to show you the name on it. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it because my phone does not focus, so there's no point. But this one, this one's a good one. This one is very spicy and sweet, um, a little woody. It's definitely deep. I like this one a lot. This one, I'll just, and I'll also tell you if I would buy a full bottle. I mean, I don't need to because I still have a bunch in here, but I would buy a full bottle of this one. So this is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. This one is Hermes Elixir de Marveille. This one comes, this is a nice amber scent, but this is the fresher one. It's not, I don't think it's the one that's in the dark amber bottle. This one's in the lighter one. This one's good. This is a uh, more of a fresh amber scent. I don't think I would buy a full bottle of this one. This one's nice, but it's this is all I need of it. It smells really good though. I have Poison Girl by Dior. I like this one. I've used a lot of this one. You can see this one. It smells good, but it smells like a lot of other um, designer fragrances that are out right now, like Black Opium. Um, La Via Belle, Flower Bomb, a bon, like Victor and Ralph Bon Bon. It smells similar to that. It smells good though. I do like it. Would I buy a full bottle of it? If I was out and about and I saw a good price on it, I probably would buy it, but I wouldn't seek it out. Then I have, oh, this is the Narciso Rodriguez Pudre. I also have a travel size of that one. So I am, I am stocked up. Smells good. Smells like musk and powder. I have Jean-Paul Gaultier. I have, this is the Classic Essence de Parfum. Now this one's more of the deeper version. It's very heavy on the floral. A little bit, I think it's a little bit sweeter, but it's a very classic scent. Like if you know that classic smell, it smells like that with a little bit more sweetness to it, a little bit more depth. So this is the uh, Essence one, Essence Day Parfum. It smells good though. This one's, I don't, I wouldn't buy a full bottle. I don't need it, but it's a nice scent. I also have the La Via Spell Intense. So I got this one because obviously I know what the La Via Bell smells like. So I figured I can try the Intense version. I think it's supposed to have hazelnut in it. It smells like La Via Bell but very sweet. How did that get, how could you get sweeter than the original? Yeah, very sweet. It's good though. I mean, I feel like there's, I think the patchouli is a little toned down. It's not as like sharp. That I think the hazelnut, it's a little nuttier, but it smells like La Via Belle with a little, it's sweeter. I like the La Via Belle La Clot version better. I finished a whole bottle of that one. I prefer that one so far out of all the ones I tried. So if I were to repurchase one, it would be the La Clot one. 
for sure, because that one is orange blossom. Smells different. Oh, this is Victor and Ralph Bon Bon. I used a lot of this one. This one's good. It's caramel, vanilla, sweet. It's just a sweet fragrance. I like it. I'm glad I have it to, if I feel like I'm in the mood for a very sweet, you have to be in the mood for a very sweet scent to, to want to wear this. I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't buy, I would not buy a full bottle. I don't need it. Uh, this is Juliet has a gun. Mm, so it's M M M M. This one I wore the other day. It's a, it kind of smells like a, it's a vanilla scent, but it's different. A lot of her fragrances are kind of different. I don't know if it's a she, a she maybe it's not a she, but their fragrances are different. It's like a vanilla. It has like a, I feel like it has some sort of root beer vibe to it. Yeah, I don't know, but um, it was good. It's just, a, but it's very light on the skin. It's not heavy, so you can hardly smell it. But it is, uh, I wouldn't buy it. Oop, I'm sorry about that. Let's see. I have, we're getting there. I have Lancome Trezor Midnight Rose. This one, I've used, this one is a raspberry scent. Raspberry Rose with a little bit of spice. It's good, but I feel like it's not my style, but it's nice, and I do wear that one. This one is, oh, this is Diptyque Eau Dwell. Uh, this one, um, this one's a different kind of uh, vanilla, so it's a vanilla, but it has a spice, and it has some greenness in the top. This one's good, but for some reason, I can't smell this on me. I spray it, and I have to put my nose right up to my hand to smell it. So I feel like for the price, uh, I probably wouldn't buy a full bottle of it. I have a lot, quite a bit left in here. Um, I don't know, like it's not something that I feel like I have to have. So, But it is a good, I'm glad I was able to try it. Uh, Angel, Terry Mugler's Angel. See, I have a, guys, I think you guys know probably how I feel about this scent. So sometimes when I smell it, like right now I smell it, I like it. But I have to be in the biggest mood to wear this one. Like sometimes, sometimes if I'm watching YouTube videos and I see a lot of people talking about it and they're liking it, I feel like, yeah, I got to put it on. And then when I put it on, I'm like, oof, why did I do that? But I, I'm glad to have it. I have enough Angel probably to last me. I don't, wouldn't need to buy any more. Um, and that is one I do see frequently at the discount stores. They do have them. I don't know. I feel like they're overpriced though because I feel like they have a really, like a 0.8 ounce bottle for 50 Buck. So I feel like you can get it cheaper online. Um, those aren't anything. Let me see what else I have. This one. Oh, this one is Serge Luton's Shergi. Look how dark that liquid is. This one's really nice. Honey tobacco. Yeah, this one's really good. I feel like this could be unisex. I feel like a man, but it is a little sweet. So I think if a guy likes sweeter tobacco scents, but it's tobacco, honey, a little in some spice. This one's good. This one lasts a long time on the skin. This is a good, nice. I feel like it's good for the holidays when I wear it. It reminds me of like Christmas time, Thanksgiving. I don't know why. Maybe it. It just does. It reminds me of those cozy times. I think this is my last scent box one. This one is oh Terry Mugler Aura. So it's the this is the Eau de Parfum. Now I have the Eau de Toilette. And it smells a lot different. Like it does not smell the same as the uh, Parfum. The Eau de Toilette is much fresher and like the medicinal smell is toned down a lot in that one. I feel like it's a little bit more floral too. This one is very medicinal, very green, vanilla. It's a good one though. I mean, it's different, you know, if you want something to, I have the lotion too. And it's, it's good though. You gotta get used to this one. Sometimes when, when I first got it, I didn't, I didn't care for it, but I, I don't know. Like I kept wearing. It. It's one of those ones that you. It's like, do I like it? I don't know. Should I keep spraying it? And then you spray it again. You're like, hmm, do I like this? But it, it kind of grows on you, and you, you know, you, I enjoy wearing it from time to time. I have just a small, Clinique Happy. I like to have this. I think my mom used to wear this. It's, a, it's just like an old classic, like citrus scent. Um, 
I think most people know what Clinique Happy smells like. It's very citrusy. It's just, it's a happy scent. I have a Gucci Guilty. This is a pen spray. I also, this is another one that like I have a bottle of because my sister gave me her bottle and I don't care for the scent. It's too musky on me, but not a good musk because I do like musk, but it's, it's a musk I don't really care to wear. So I have that. I also have a Jimmy Choo. This came with like a gift set. So this is just the original Eau de Parfum. This one, same thing. It's like I don't love wearing this one. It's a, I think the toffee and praline in here, it gets kind of cloying on my skin. So something with it, it just gets to be a little bit too ripe when I wear it. I do wear it from time to time though. I have a little, look how cute this is. Just a little mini, this is Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. I like this one. I'm not going to open it because it's one of the ones that it's a dabber. So when you pull it, I'm never good at opening the bottles. When I pull it, it gets all over. And I don't want to smell like cashmere mist right now. But this is a nice powdery cashmere soapy scent. So it's nice and clean, fresh out of the shower scent. Je Sarah Jessica Parker Stash. This is a great one. I enjoy wearing this. My husband doesn't like it. This smells, this smells good. I'm going to put it on. I, I like this one. This is a nice rollerball too. It's like a, it's heavy. Yeah, this one is very different. I like this one. It's spicy. I think it has incense-y. It has a lot of, it smells like a niche perfume for like a celebrity scent. This is very niche smelling. It's got, I feel like it's got good quality. It lasts a long time on the skin. Um, I think, like I think I said it in my last video, she meant to smell, it smells like a she wanted it to smell like a church, so it's kind of woody, it's kind of dusty, it's kind of uh, spicy. This one's a good one. It's a keeper. I do like that one. I have the Cartier Bose Volé Eau Fresh. And I have the original version, so which was a lily based fragrance. This smells just like the original to me. I don't know what would be different from it. Doesn't smell much different. I don't know what's fresher in here. Smells like the original, but this is good. This is a good one. It's a lily, lily based fragrance. So it's floral, uh, all floral. Speaking of floral, I really like this one. I need to get a full bottle of it. This is the Balenciaga Flora Botanica. I don't know what's on here. There's something on my bottle. So this is the Flora Botanica one. This one smells really nice. It's very strong, so it's 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 a floral fragrance, but it's green. It's got rose in it. Yeah, it's kind of powdery. It lasts a long time on the skin. This one I enjoy wearing. I really like wearing this one. For someone that doesn't like florals, I like this one. Yeah, it's got a good scent to it. It's kind of powdery. It's, it's floral. It's fresh, uh, but it has some depth to it. I think the full bottles are kind of expensive though, so I don't know. I have some of these La Vanilla. This one is the, I think this, I'll smell it. I think it's the grapefruit one. Yeah, this is the vanilla grapefruit and this is the lemon. These smell really nice. Great for summertime. Very fresh, very vanilla. They're pretty much how, uh, they're like grapefruit and vanilla, lemon vanilla. They smell really good for like so spring and summer. They're light and clean and fresh. Uh, that pretty much, and I have a little baby, no, I have a little baby Mon Guerlain. This is the Eau de Parfum, so this is the original. It smells really good. I have a couple, this one's a really good, I like this one. This is Mew Mew. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is the original one. I like this one. It has, it's kind of peppery. Yeah, this smells good. It's floral, peppery, so it's got a little spice to it. Clean smelling. This one's a good one. I got this little sample, like a, it was like a Sephora sample or perk or something. And I wasn't too, in, I've never been too interested in Miu Miu, but I got the sample and I smelled it and I was pleasantly surprised. I have a few, uh, same thing, I have a few of those like point perk ones. I tried this, this is Tom Ford Metalik. Ooh, I'm blinding you. So this is just, I, this is just a rollerball version. Now this is like a weird, interesting scent. So it has vanilla in there for sure. And there's like definitely a metallic scent to it. So it's kind of smells like, smells like the cap, you know, it's like very metal. 
I think this sample size is probably all I need. I don't think I'd get much wear out of a bigger bottle. I like it though, like sometimes I'm in the mood to wear it. I'm sometimes I'm in the mood to wear different things, things that I don't normally wear. And look how cute this one. This is the Gucci Memoir. Look how cute. It's just a little, it's just a little bitty guy. It's the bottle is like adorable. I mean, come on. This one smells good. This one has, I think it has chamomile in it. I could be wrong. This is a, just a very, it's a scent that, it's like a scent that is just there. It, it's not, it's not perfumey. I think it's unisex. It's just, it smells really nice. Like I, if I saw a bottle, same thing. If I saw a bottle that was like a decent price for this, I, I'd probably pick it up. I like that one. It smells clean. Like it smells like a clean, and I really like the bottle. Something about that green kind of looks like a classic perfume bottle. And I'm, I'm all for that. I do have a few, uh, oh, I have a few more. Or right, this is a Tom Ford Black Orchid. I really like this one. It's very spicy. Very spicy. I think this one has a lot of notes in it, so I won't go through them all, but it's definitely a very spicy, deep, dark scent. I like this one. I do wear this one from time to time. Lasts a long time on the skin. And then I have a Toca Stella. This one smells pretty good. It smells like orange, like a sweet orange. So it's very nice for the spring and summer. I have a, uh, I'll just show you this. I hope they're probably all gonna fall over because, you know, this is like a container full of Swiss Arabian uh, samples. I'll just pull out a few of my favorites. I really like, um, cause a lot of them to me, I can't pronounce the name, so it wouldn't even matter if I showed you, but a lot of them smell similar. They, a lot of them have incense, food, spicy. I really enjoy, um, where is she? I like the uh, Alshila, the S-E-H-R, Alshila. I don't think you'll be able to see that on there, but this is, you can find these on Amazon, I think. This one's a really, I think they said this is supposed to smell like a dupe for Santal Royale from Guerlain, but it's just a very, uh, it's a rose, a strong rose incense scent. I also really like out of all these, I have Florence. That one I can pronounce. This one is a nice, it's also a rose, but sweeter. Vanilla, it's very sweet, very sweet tart vanilla scent. I like that one. And then there's like Casablanca in here too, which I really like. I don't, oh here it is. This is Casablanca. You won't be able to see that, but this is these are all Swiss Arabian. That's one is uh, same thing, sweet vanilla. I think it has apple in it, uh, some oud, and then this. They also have one that smells similar to um, Lancome oud bouquet with Shagoff oud. That one's a good one. So a lot of the Swiss Arabians are really good fragrances. I feel like they're good quality and they're reasonably priced. I mean, you can get a good uh, full. Uh, fragrance for you know forty forty dollars or under sometimes it just depends sometimes the more popular these fragrances get they jack up the prices so I think that's about all my travel size sprays uh, I'm sure I have more just laying around randomly I do have some Victoria sorry if that's loud I do have some like I have some Victoria's Secret ones I didn't show you but it's like this one's the love it's a roller ball and I went through like, I have a body spray of this. This is just a nice cottony laundry floral scent. It's good for like out of the shower, at night. You know, you just wanna feel clean, nice and clean. This one I think is a dual ended one. It has Crush on one end and Wicked on the other. And Wicked, I don't think they make that anymore. This was a nice vanilla scent. They don't make it anymore. And Crush is just a generic fruity scent. I don't really wear those that much because they don't last. and. I don't know, and I also have a, a very sexy one. I don't even look at the thing still on there. I don't. I didn't even. I don't even. I haven't even worn this. I think I got these like on clearance or sale, super sale when they had their sale section. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoy my travel size fragrances or my subscription fragrances that I have. 
Um, if you did, give this video a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below if you'd like to see more content or what you'd like to see. Um, I have a few videos going to be posted soon, or if not, they've already been posted. So, All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.